right hiding zeros and errors what do i mean by that well let's have a look at your first the first tab the old way of doing spreadsheets all of these because i've used the formula of uh, c2 plus d2 it always even when it's blank it's still adding it together and it goes well zero plus zero equals zero so it gives the zero value all the way down because you've got formulas in there now you need those formulas in because if someone comes in and puts the values in here you want that formula to be working um, so how do you get it to, to have all the formulas in place but not to show the value until someone actually starts typing something in there well if you have a look at that formula c9 plus d9 let's go to the better way to do it let's just have a look at what i've got well there it is that but there d11 plus e11 is what we had before all i've done is what i've put in what i call a nested formula so let's just start from the beginning and say equals that one plus that that's what you would normally do and it would be a value now however when those two are blank it will show that as a zero when you don't necessarily want it to show it as a zero so how do we fix that well all we do is we put in a clause at the beginning we say if open brackets if and open brackets that equals blank and to show blank you do those two like that then make it blank otherwise d plus 11 so you said if b11 equals blank make this cell blank otherwise d11 plus e11 and then all we need to do is close off the brackets because you've got an open bracket you need to make sure you've got an end bracket to close it off and that's it so you've essentially got your formula but you've nested it within that formula and that means that now when the blank is the, the date is blank it will show blank here as soon as you put in a date here then it'll come up as a zero now it's expecting you to put those values in it doesn't necessarily have to be this one that you're using but you can you can essentially use anyone in order to to make sure that that this is blank if there's no information in there so that's the first thing to do the second one i did say about errors there aren't any errors in this one because you've always you've always got the situation where they're adding them together but what happens if say for argument's sake you were doing a, a divide to say that you know this divided by that and that was a zero it would show up as an error so if you want to fix the errors you take whatever formula you've got and all you do is you type at the beginning if e-r-r-o-r -R -R, obviously if error then open your brackets that's your value so you leave it as it is you go to the end of the formula and then you put a comma and a space and it says well what do we do if there's an error and you say if there's an error make it blank and then close that off and then what that would do is if that did result in an error it would just come up as blank because it says if it's an error make it blank